All right, how we do, folks? Your boy, Marcus, on to your five numbers after the name of the game is beaten action over here. Another Mario Kart DLC. We kind of bang the bang, the bang, 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 back to back. These ones over here was what I was trying to say. I I can't keep saying the same thing over and over again, but it's a really cool addition to the game. To just after all these years that it's been out, I mean, you gotta even take into account that this is a remaster of like the Switch version. So if you want to go even as far back as how long this game has been out, and now we're gonna get like enough maps to count as almost a new game. Uh, all if you're part of like the online expansion pass, it's free, even though obviously you pay for that. So you know, the free is always relative. It's kind of like, yo, it's on Game Pass, man. It's free. And you're like, it's not not free. You pay for it, but I understand what you're saying, and you actually don't even own it. So. All a matter of perspective, having said that, I'm not paying a single extra dime for this. I had already the expansion pass. I'm enjoying it every time they kind of drop. I play Mario Kart again. I hadn't picked up Mario Kart in a while. I think it's a very cool way for Nintendo to kind of make you stick with their games a little bit longer. It's just randomly add DLC to them. I mean, imagine if... Now, they're probably working on a new Mario game, so it wouldn't make too much sense. And multiplayer games kind of work a little bit better in this sense. But imagine if they just released like, a couple more like extra worlds on like uh, Mario Odyssey. All of a sudden, they're just like, you know what, man? Get a little expansion for it. If you got like the online thing, it's free for whatever reason. Or even if you have to pay a couple bucks for it, brings you back into the game. I don't know. The DLC is a little bit hit or miss. I usually don't go back to games for it, but in the case of Mario Kart, it's really working out well, especially mixing in some of the newer tracks that they have. I'm not the biggest fan of these tour tracks. They're, they're fine for what they are, but they're, they don't really stand out. This pack had a lot of cool ones. They had a Game Boy Advance one, uh, like a blue kind of stage. That's pretty unique, I feel like, and pretty cool. Uh, I enjoy that, and I guess you can play it now in the Game Boy Advance as well on the Switch. Uh, I don't know. I've, I haven't really played that that much. I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember that game being great, but for Game Boy Advance at the time, that was really cool to like have that as an option. Uh, the other, th the one that was cool here, they added in a, a DS one from like Peach's Gardens that I really really like. I played Mario Kart Seven, I believe it was one of the DS. I might be wrong on that, but Mario Kart DS. I don't know the one that came out in like the original DS a lot. It was really good. It was the first one I think you could hook up on Wi-Fi and play people. I did that and then realized I wasn't that good at the game. And I was like, oh, there's people that are like really good at this whole driving thing. And I think that one had the snaking thing as well. And people were just like murdering me with that. And I'm like, I don't even know how to do that. Whole different world. And then they added a Rainbow Road course, which I believe that is from the 3DS. Uh, that is really, really cool. And it's also just cool just to add another Rainbow Road in there. And this one might be one of my favorite ones. So Wave 3, awesome. 